and 16 below, 5 and 16, screen cap in 3, 2, 1, 5 on 16, 5 on 16, oh, getting a little warm, now normally extractions aren't, now normally an extraction isn't a pleasant thing, so I'll try to make this as easy as possible. I use this to get around this quirky directory structure for this prosumer video camera. You'll see who they are momentarily. They, JVC, absolutely bury their video files. Look how deep this is. And there's the video file. And although I know those are important, to paraphrase a brilliant mind, I want my MP4. So now I'm faced with having to extract that one file from all these directories, each of them being a clip that was shot on the camera. Here's how I go about it. First, always work on a copy. Save your original. So, copy that. Close that out. I'll open this up just to navigate down to here quickly. And I'll deposit those files there. Now it's just a matter of taking them out of there. In my Alt key video, I talk about Alt left arrow. And what that does, I'll go into this directory, enter. It backs you historically, navigationally, backs you back up. So we could use that to our advantage by going into it highlighting the file, cutting and pasting each one out of there. You go into it, highlight the file, cut, back up, and paste. After every few or so, I like to delete those. I have a copy of it. I won't need anything that's in there anyway. And I'll go get the last of these and put them into here. And that will be that for that. Except, good form always dictates, name your files. Rename them. You'll be glad you did. And the last one. And I know of no more efficient way to do that than that. 